Capricorn hoping that you guys are all well welcome to the channel if you're new and if you are one of my incredible subscribers thank you guys so much I can't believe it hit 4,000 this morning um, I'm still waking up I might trip on my words a little bit so I ask for your forgiveness <laughs> uh, please note these are general messages they will not resonate for everybody so just take what does and leave the rest if um, you'd like a personal reading that's specific to your situation, please go ahead and book online. You can find a link to my website in the description box below, or there's tons of amazing YouTube readers, um, because sometimes energies, right? Like maybe you don't match with my energy or I'm not explaining things in a way that makes sense or helps. So I definitely encourage you to reach out to any of them. But also saying that, please know not to give your power to anybody, okay? Not to any tarot reader, not to anyone. This this is just a tool for insight and, and guidance if you choose to take it. But everybody has free will, and so does the people that you're dealing with. So please do not take this as gospel, okay? Nothing is ever set in stone, and energy can change like that. So... All of that being said, let's get into this. Just coming into the energy. Spirit, this is for Capricorn, please. What's going on for them in the love department? Please remove my ego. Please remove my filters. Please remove any biases or judgments so that I can just simply relay the messages as they need to be heard for Capricorn. Remove any of my influence. Capricorn, Capricorn, being told to cut. Interesting. Separation, okay. You could be separated from somebody at the moment, could be long distance, but there's still romantic feelings. And it is safe for you to love. All right. So, some of you might be wondering about a long distance connection at this point in time. You could have been apart for a good while especially with covid uh, but not only that i think that the feelings are still there but maybe you're starting to wonder are they going to leave or should you hang on any longer for others of you you might have separated from somebody and you still have feelings for them and you're wondering why maybe you're wondering should i reach out to them or do they still care about me and I, I think with this, it is safe for you to love card. It's a matter of getting that bravery to step forward maybe into the authenticity, uh, uh, authenticity of this feeling or feelings that you're having and take the leap. Let's see what spirit has to say. What is the situation, please? What is the situation for Capricorn? Yeah, I feel some inner conflict here. Maybe you're wondering if they've met somebody else or if somebody else took their love. I knew it, didn't I say take the leap? The fool. Wow. And wheel of fortune. Normally I take two cards for this, but three wanted to come out, so I'm taking all three. Um, beautiful. There's big changes here. Maybe this is a soulmate of yours, but this is about good luck, change, destiny. And we all know that we make our own luck, truly, with our decisions, right? It's our decisions, ultimately, that determine our outcome. And I think the Spirit is saying here, take the leap, but you've got some inner conflict about this. You're worried. Maybe this didn't end badly, but there was just some minor conflict that was never really resolved. Maybe even you competed with each other, <laughs> for that matter. But Spirit is saying, start again, start anew. You can literally jump over this conflict, is what I'm seeing. How, how does the person feel about Capricorn? How does the person that Capricorn is thinking about feel about them? Okay, they may have thought that you had somebody else or that you cared about somebody more than you did about them, especially with this romantic feelings, okay? They may have felt that they were competing for your love and they didn't feel as though, yeah, it's safe for you to love. 
they they didn't feel as though they were good enough. Uh, if there were games at all that were being played, you know, to cause jealousy, that could have pushed this person away. Okay. Maybe there was just a new adventure and your life was changing and you were attracting different people, meeting new people through work or whatever be the case, but somebody here, there was a, a third party intervention of some sort that I think made this person feel less than. Yeah, because they stepped back and they looked at this and they were like, do I continue to give to this situation? They really wanted to see how this was progressing. They felt as though they were giving to this, but I think they felt you were giving to other people. And I think that that hurt them a little bit and made them a little bit jealous, to be honest. And, and jealousy, everybody has jealousy. It's, it's, not, it's not good to play those games, but sometimes we don't even know we're doing it, right? How do they see the connection? Well, I feel that you make them come alive. They're definitely attracted to you, absolutely. They see you as sexy, vibrant, um, outgoing, basically someone who attracts all the eyes in the room. And they really, oh wow, they did see you as their wish come true. They saw you as their dream come true for that matter. Despite any influence from third parties, they really, you, you made them feel good. And I feel a sense of power. It's like we could have done anything together. We could have traveled together. We could have started a business together. We could have, you know, really enjoyed life together. And there could be this spiritual component to it as well. They really felt something incredible for you, Capricorns. And they saw this connection as going the distance but there was one thing that was missing, which was that cup. So that cup, it could make sense because that cup would have made it to the Ten of Cups. And then there would have been like two only in this card, but instead there's three cups. So that cup, I think they felt was being given to somebody else. Oh, well, that sucks. Could have been dealing with a Pisces, okay, because you have the High Priestess. And then, but also you, you could have been dealing with any water sign for that matter. But I think what you want here, or what the cards are saying that you want, is to tap into your power. Or maybe you feel as though this person is a little unattainable. They could have gone quiet and they just stopped putting in the effort. That's what I see. And maybe you were questioning it. I guess the question to ask yourself in this connection if you're thinking about this person was, did you make them feel like they were important? Did you ask them, how are you doing? Did you ask them, you know, is everything okay? Did you know deep down maybe that you were trying to get a reaction out of them and instead caused an opposite effect? No judgment here. I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing, but it's, the advice is the chariot. Look at that. I'm just going to move this card here. I like this to kind of come more over here. It's about conquering your emotions and moving forward. It's about taking that leap of faith here with this fool card. But that's the challenge too. The challenge is, is you might be caught up in your emotions right now and your thoughts about it. Ruminating over and over. Yeah, see? The thoughts about it. Did I hurt them too much to the point where they wouldn't come back? Your heart is hurting. That's what I see. I feel like your heart is a little bit broken. And maybe, I hate to say this, but the Two of Swords comes before the Three of Swords. And the Two of Swords, usually what happens is, is somebody puts on a blindfold. They don't want to look at the truth of the situation. Maybe the truth of the situation was that you did have somebody else on the go. And now you're really missing this person because maybe the, this third party it didn't work out with, okay? And now you're looking back, you're reflecting on the past and you're like, you know, this person really cared about me. They, they cared about the details. They cared about my life. 
and maybe someone here got caught up in the heady rush now you can switch the energies too this doesn't even have to be you right like maybe this was the other person who had the third party so take it how you will and apply it to your situation as you will but someone's trying to the challenge is, is that you're not moving on from the heartbreak and i think it's because there's something more to look at or they're not moving on from the heartbreak because there's something more to look at here there's something more to do see about this putting the work in But again, I feel of two minds here, so I feel like, <laughs> interestingly, I feel like this Sphinx represents putting in the work that's required to maintain a relationship and paying attention to the details. And then I also see this Sphinx matching this card as not taking action. So I, I, again, two minds. And the two of swords is putting on the blindfold, like I don't want to look at how I'm contributing to this situation, or I don't want to look at the problems in it. But then what happens is all of a sudden the heartbreak comes because there's a loss. There's a grief of some sort. So usually we do this to ourselves. So maybe this person put on a blindfold, but stopped themselves at the three of swords because once they got hurt with the three and the three here, they thought, okay, you know what? It's not safe for me here. So let's see what the outcome is going to be. That's your energy there. Pentacles. And Page of Pentacles, wow. I think you're still going to be in some decision here for a little while. I think maybe you possibly accepted an offer from the wrong person or somebody that didn't or wasn't the one for you and now I think that you want to start laying down the foundation with this person I feel like this is somebody from the past that you really miss um, for others of you though there's another scenario that's popping up here and you could be separated from somebody where you had separated and you started getting feelings for someone new, but you're afraid. You're afraid to move forward. That could be the challenge here. So part of you, again, of being of two minds, part of you wants to move forward, but you're just not doing it because you're, you might be afraid of heartbreak again. How does this person what no what question do i want to ask here if capricorn got together with this person that they're thinking of what would happen wow more water energy cancer pisces scorpio they definitely would nurture you it's like you're the cup that they're holding but i don't know if they'd trust you that's what i'm seeing i, I just i don't know if they would trust you because they feel as though you did have others on the go. Hmm. What would... Would they get past this, Spirit? Yes. They would get past this. There's the sun. I think if there was some honest communication about what happened, things would warm up and you'd be able to strip yourself of this protection, right? But that would be a matter of opening up but somebody's not opening up here. They're not speaking about their feelings. If per chance you were to say, look, you know, I do care about you. I think that all, all of the armor and the defenses that came up could be stripped away and it could be a great renewal. There's that distance card again, two of wands. But the thing is, I don't think that they're going to make the effort, unfortunately. I am getting this sense like, no, it's Capricorn. They have to reach out to me. I'm not doing it. I tried. I did my part. And I, I won't invest any more until I see some equal give and take. Or you could be feeling like this about them. Like I said, switch the energy how you will. 
because I think that even though you you've been getting to know new people here, there's still this this attachment to this person from the past. Like you still you still love them, and maybe you didn't even get the chance to really see how this could manifest. So I bet you know I'm surprised that uh, the Eight of Swords hasn't come up here. Oh, look at what did I say? Two of Swords. Two of Swords, I said that, especially with that. But I think what's good now is, is that you're going back to the Two of Swords here and you're removing the blindfold to see things clearly. To see things clearly. And usually, I think the problem is, is a lack of communication. Um, we're, we're always so afraid to open up because we may chase the person away anyway. Or maybe we feel it's safer to protect ourselves by not opening up, right? Sometimes we try to control the situation or the, the outcome by withdrawing a little bit. And we do that because we think it's going to keep the person interested. But really, that's just... That's kind of like... Game playing, if you will. And games never work out because it's never set on a solid foundation, right? And it doesn't become firm and stable. So someone's going to take off the blindfolds here. They're going to unblock the situation. And they're, yeah, they're going to have to face the pressure that they're feeling. The pressure of all of these thoughts. But I think that someone is going to, to go the distance and they are going to reach out eventually it's just a matter of getting past this fear this fear and this heartbreak but anything can be changed right here's that wheel of fortune we make we make our situations what they are so we can definitely choose to change this by making the effort and taking that leap of faith all right so let us see what spirit says for guidance. I feel that there was a lot of passion between you guys. Surrender to complete healing, but in reverse. So some of you, like I said, you've been working on that healing. So that's good. You've been working on releasing this three of swords energy. And maybe they've been re releasing it as well. And surrender the drama. So remember what I was saying about games? That, that's what I feel is that somebody here was playing games and they were doing it because they felt maybe that they had the power, but they were using their power in a way that the consequences left them alone. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help the issue resolve more quickly. So that's what I feel about the trying to make somebody jealous here. I, I feel like that's what someone tried to do. And that's what really caused the breakup here. And I think somebody did it because maybe they even felt insecure within themselves. So they thought, oh, okay. If I make this person jealous, then they're going to commit to me because they, they won't want to lose me once they see how many people are actually interested in me. But I, I hate to say it, I think that that kind of backfired because somebody here really saw this as being something like their wish come true. But either or, I feel like this can be fixed. Communication is going to open up and a decision is going to be made and, and a decision is going to be made to face, to face the issues. They're not going to give up or you're not going to give up. And I think that's great. I think it's great because that's, that's what life is about, right? Is overcoming obstacles and conflict isn't bad. Conflict teaches you things about, you know, this is how you learn and page of pentacles is learning. It's how you learn about what somebody else likes or how to 
blend your energies in order to have this successful connection. But it starts with communication, honest and open communication. All right, that's what I got for you guys. I hope this helped somebody out there. Like I said, this isn't gospel, and if this isn't your situation, that's okay. Just write it off. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and thank you for being here. Bye, Cappies.